thanks for stopping by welcome back to the channel so today we have a collaboration video and this is with the beautiful and wonderful Kaylee from hello Kaylee I will list all her social media and her video down below and as well as at the end of the video there will be like a clickable link to see what she did so we decided to do a fall must-haves I have no idea what Kaylee's must-haves are we probably have some of the same things but maybe different products so definitely give our videos some thumbs up and some love and definitely go subscribe to her channel and go check our video out, of course, after you watch this one. But I don't know really what she's putting, so I'm excited to see her video too. This is just gonna be all beauty and makeup. I have a little bit of skincare, a little bit of makeup, so if you wanna see my 2015 fall must-haves, then let's get into it. So first, I wanna share with you guys some must-have palettes for me. So these are my top three palettes that are probably gonna be mostly used this fall season unless I get new ones, which, you know, being a makeup addict and a beauty blogger, I'm sure there's gonna be new palettes, but these are ones I'm probably gonna reach for mostly during this fall season. So the first one, this is the Amrezy palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. The reason I am sharing this, even though it is limited edition and was sold out last year, is because I just did a tutorial with it, and if you did not see it, then you should go check it out. You know, wherever the information is, you should go check that out. So. The reason I'm still showing this to you guys though is because they can still be purchased in individual shadows and this palette just screams fall. It has a lot of colors that I normally would go to during this season, especially these two right here, Glisten and Topaz are just gorgeous. And then Caramel Morocco in Deep Plum are gonna be some favorites of mine. The next palette I'm gonna talk about, this is the Naked 2 by Urban Decay. I know this is such an old palette, but you know what? I haven't used this palette in probably like six or eight months. And I was looking at my palettes to do this video and this one just caught my eye and was like, please use me, it's been a long time. So I said, you know, sure, why not? And I actually did this eye look today using this palette. So I didn't record a tutorial. So if you would like to see a tutorial of this eye look or this makeup look, let me know and I'll be happy to do that at another time. But this palette is just super gorgeous. It only has two matte shades in it, which is why I don't reach for it as often because lately I've been on a matte kick. But for the holiday season, you're gonna want glitter, you're gonna want shimmer, you kinda want that like snow bunny look. And just for any events, like we have Thanksgiving coming up, we have Halloween, we have Christmas, we have New Year's. All throughout the fall and winter season, there are gonna be events where you might want some shimmer and this palette has it. There are a lot of dents in this palette, so it's definitely a loved palette. Next palette, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, the original. I am talking about this one because it is perfect for the fall season. You have all your warm colors, you have your burgundies, purples, and you have this beautiful gilded ganache green right here. This green is so gorgeous, and especially with a green smoky eye, it's gonna be perfect for fall. It just has a lot of colors, and it has a nice blend of mattes and shimmers, which is really good considering the other ones don't really have as much equal of both, but these have beautiful transition shades, beautiful dark colors that you can play with, some glitters. Again, for the holiday season, you're gonna want some beautiful glitters, and so this palette is just really great and you can do a lot of looks with this. I use this palette year round, but definitely those burgundy and purple colors, those are gonna be really pretty for fall. And then next with eyes and eyeshadow palettes, the next thing is a glitter eyeshadow. Not everyone is a fan of glitter, but I know I am. So I have a few here. So I have two favorites of mine. The first one is Kiko by Milani. It is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I do have a blog post on this one, I'm sure from last year, I'll link it down below. But it's just this beautiful, gorgeous color. This is 200. This is their water eyeshadow. I believe this is the color champagne. So there's the color right there, super gorgeous. And then if you're like me and can't get Kiko because that was a gift and you want a drugstore alternative, this is Jessie's Girl Cosmetics and you can find this at Rite Aid and they have really beautiful glitters. I haven't opened this one up yet. I did buy like six of them. I haven't really been able to play with them a lot, but I am excited to have them and to start using them this fall season. But these are two colors to show you. One is called Starshine and this one is called Penny Arcade. I know Coffee Break with Danny uses Penny Arcade a lot, which is why I picked it up when I finally saw them. I'm not near Rite Aids all that often, but these are supposed to be really good and affordable glitters as well. You're gonna want these glitters just for 
everything. For a pop on the inner corner, pop on the brow bone, pop all over the lid with a smoky eye. Some of these glitters, you can even double them if they're not super chunky. You can even double them as a highlight. You want to put a little bit on the cupid's bow. You want to, if you're wearing a dress, you want to just throw a little bit of glitter in your lotion. It's just going to give you a beautiful shimmer on your shoulders. So then for lips, of course, of course, you need a vampy lip. So I have a few colors here to share with you options and then also a little less intense option as well. So this first one is by NARS. This is what I'm wearing on my lips today. This is called Cruella, and it's just a beautiful red color. I'm really picky with reds. The only other red I really, really love is Pomegranate by Bite Beauty. But I've never tried Cruella before. I've seen it in the store. I did get it for the birthday gift. Another color is going to be more of the plum grape colors and this is called scotch and soda this is by the lip bar and this one is a beautiful color as well it's a little bit more sheer these are more moisturizing they have shea butter and all that jazz in them i did do a review and swatches of all eight of them that i have so i will list that in the cards and down below as well you could check that out but this is a beautiful color as well it's not quite as opaque as it is hydrating so just put it over maybe a lip liner if you want it to be really dark or if you want to just have like a sheer wash, you could definitely use this color. And of course, I have two different liquid matte lipsticks. This first one is by LA Splash. This is Malevolent, and it is this beautiful, beautiful dark purple color. Actually, on the lips, it ends up looking more like black, like a very, very dark black purple. But that is the color right there, just really pretty. And these LA Splash lipsticks, they don't go anywhere. I also did a lip swatch and review video of these as well so you can check that out on my channel too when you're done if you feel like watching more videos. And then this last liquid lipstick this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the color Trust Issues which I am loving. So if you're not into reds or purples how about trying a dark brown brownie pink. So that is the color right there super pretty. I have worn it a few times in photos. I'll try to link any photos of me wearing these colors if I have them on Instagram or anything down below. And then if you're not into super, super dark vampy lips, but you still want an appropriate fall color, this one by Maybelline. This was one of their matte lipsticks from last year from the original collection. This is in the color Touch of Spice, and it's that bottom color right here. So it's not really dark, but if you're not a dark person and you want another fall must-have lip color, that's going to be that right there. It is so gorgeous. I love these. Super, super great drugstore alternative. And then if you need to give your lips a break from the matte lipsticks or you're just not a super opaque, intense lipstick kind of person, my next must-have is going to be a tinted lip balm. So this is another way to keep within the dark colors, the fall feel without having dry matte lips because I know some people just don't like the feel or they're very drying and after several days of using it, your lips just need a break. So you can go ahead and hydrate them. This first one is the Clinique Chubby Stick intense and this is in the color grandest grape so i'll just put this right here so that is the color right there unfortunately the only two like tinted lip balmy things that i have are both like super purple so it's just what i like but this is a beautiful one right here and then if you like lip butters or prefer potted lip products then this one by Kors is really great this is in the color plum and this is a little bit more sheer than the chubby stick, so that's what it looks like right there. Just a little bit more sheer, but still really pretty, and it'll give you a little bit of color without too much of an intense lip color. So if you're wanting just a minimal makeup day, but you still want to be in that fall berry lip trend, then go for one of these tinted products. Oh, so I forgot to mention, one of my other must-haves with eyes is an eyeshadow base. So along with all of the glittery shades you're going to be using, the dark colors, everything, you're going to want a really good base. So I would suggest like a MAC Paint Pot, a primer potion, and this is also the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is going to be for all your glitters. So even regular eyeshadows that have glitters, you might want to use this just in case. If you're going to be wearing it all day, or you're going to go to a party or an event, or especially during Halloween, and you want your makeup to really stay anything with glitter you might want to use a primer or an eye base just to make sure it stays put all day and you don't get it all over your face and it is just a hot mess so the next thing you need in your fall must-have collection is a good 
highlighter. So I have a few here to show you. Obviously you guys know my Mary Luminizer is my ride or die. She's my girl, so I'm not even going to mention her because, except for right now, because you already know what she looks like and you need her in your life. The other one you need is Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. If you have not gotten your hands on this, I suggest you do. It is limited edition, but it seems to still be around right now, so it's not too much of a rush, but you definitely want to get it if you haven't. And that is it right there, just a beautiful, beautiful white gold peach champagne color. I've actually been layering it with the Mary Luminizer. It also creates a very beautiful glow, so that's definitely a good layering piece as well. The other one I want to share with you, this one is by Laura Mercier. This is in the Highlight 01. It is what I'm wearing on my cheeks and the tip of my nose today. I keep forgetting about this one because it's a little sample size. I think it was from the like 500 perks points or something like that because I really wanted the highlighter and didn't want to pay full price. But this little guy has lasted me a while. I haven't even made like a huge dent in it yet. So I think it's going to last me a while. But that's kind of it right here. It's not as, it's intense on camera. It's not as intense in person. It's a little bit more of a natural intense if that makes sense. I know that sounds a little bit weird but it's not like champagne pop like BAM you know Amory's the highlight from outer space but it's definitely you can build it and make it intense but you can also make this very natural if what you want to. As far as nail polish goes I want to share two of my fall must-have colors and they are going to be a dark shade and a nude shade. Why I say both of these is because the dark shade, this is what I'm wearing on my nails right now. This is NCLA in the color Model Behavior. And this one is a really pretty because it's not quite a black. It's a weird color. It's kind of like a, I don't know how I would describe it. It's like a brownish gray. It's not quite like a cool gray. Maybe like a warm gray. It's a little bit of purple. It's just kind of that dark gray color that's not quite black but it's dark enough that's going to be really pretty. I don't own a deep burgundy color, so if I did, that would also be in here. I probably should get one. But the other color I would suggest is a nude shade, and this one is in the color Volume 4. This is part of a collection, the Nudes collection for NCLA. But I suggest a nude because a lot of the colors, we're going to be wearing a lot of dark colors, and sometimes you don't want like dark nails, dark colors, or you're in a professional environment and you can't wear dark nails, but nude nails are gonna go with everything. They work all year long, and I think these are really pretty. So after you cake on your makeup, because we all know in the fall and winter, you wear thicker foundation, more full coverage, concealer, powder, the whole shebang, you're doing glitter, smoky eyes. There's a lot of makeup going on on your face. And when it's time to take it all off, you got to take care of your skin because otherwise here are my must-haves to take care of your skin after you take off your makeup. So the first one, this is the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask. I've only used this twice, but on my other masks I am out of, but any face mask. This one I really like. This is a peel-off mask, so it's kind of, it kind of hurts sometimes. Like you have little baby hairs all over your face. Like sometimes it grabs those and it hurts a little bit. But I do see a difference only using this twice in my face. It's just luminizing. I feel like it's cleansing my skin. I love just the charcoal mask in general just because I have oily skin so it helps oil control throughout the day. Even my cleansers are charcoal based. My next must have is a moisturizer. I have two right here because I use them for different reasons. This first one is the Ultralight Face Lotion. It says it's a non-greasy everyday moisturizer. I feel like it's still a little bit thick, so I use it at night. And then I use this one from The Body Shop. This is the Tea Tree Skin Clearing Lotion. This is supposed to be for shine control, blemished skin. I just find that this one soaks into the skin really easily, and it doesn't feel greasy, especially for anyone with oily skin. This, literally, you put it on, and your face just feels smooth, and it doesn't feel greasy. You don't feel like there's moisturizer on it all. And then my last fall must-have is going to help you while you're sleeping. So I have two beauty oils right here and I think these are a must have. Even with oily skin, these are going to help you. So two that I've been using lately, this is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate and this is the 1.7 ounces. I think this is the middle size and I really like this one. I saw noticeably different skin the next morning when I first started using this. These are a little bit pricier but if you think about what the price per day of how many days of use you can get out of one bottle, then it's really like cents per day. But this one is a really good one. 
you feel like shelling out the money, this one is the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil. Now this is a sample from Sephora because the full size one retails over $100 I believe. I've actually used this one the last three days and I really like what it's been doing for my skin. It looks completely renewed and especially with the cold weather coming up, you're going to want to make sure everything is moisturized and healthy so that you don't have any dry patches and your foundation just goes on flawlessly, especially with the full coverage foundations. That is everything for my fall beauty must-haves. Go ahead and see what Kaylee picked out on her channel. I will link her video at the end of this video as well as in the description box below. Thanks Kaylee for doing this collaboration with me. I can't wait to see what you picked and let me know what your guys' fall beauty favorites are going to be. If you have any particular colors of dark lips that you have or palettes or nail polish or just something I didn't mention that's a must-have for you, then let me know in the comments below and I hope you guys in my next video. Bye!